Hello fellow bibliophiles and welcome back to Blatantly Bookish. I'm Marissa and today I am here with my Victober TBR. So I've done a pretty lousy job of narrowing down my TBR this year, I have to say. There is no way that I can read all of the books that I want to talk about and that I'm interested in. So this is more a pile of possibilities perhaps, but I think I will just talk through my interests with you and maybe we can narrow them down together. First up is the group read, Anthony Trollope's The Way We Live Now, which I will be participating in this year. This book follows Mr. Melmot, who is a very rich and somewhat sketchy financier, and it's about all of the people who are caught up in his business schemes. It's a crazy world of bribes and vendettas and swindling, gambling, broken promises of marriage. It's got themes of class and respectability, of money and gender and marriage, so you know, really all of the good Victorian themes. and. I am just amazed at how adept Anthony Trollope is at weaving in various characters and plot lines. I am so excited to revisit this one. This meets Kate Howe's challenge and Roz's challenge as well. I don't think I'm going to go in challenge order exactly for this TBR or pile of possibilities or whatever you want to call it because there's just so much overlap between all of the different challenges that I think it just would work out better to just talk about the books. So first up is a book that is quite a priority, and that is Anthony Trollope's The Last Chronicle of Barset. This is the sixth and final book in the Barsetshire Chronicle series that Anthony Trollope wrote, and I have been painstakingly slowly going through the series. I've been meaning to read this one for quite a while now. It's probably appeared on the past one, two, TBRs for Victober, and I haven't gotten around to it. So I decided to start Victober a little early, and I already started this one. I'm not very far of the way through, but if I haven't finished this one by the time October comes around, this is a priority. This one also actually fits into Kate Howe's little project that she has going on with reading books from the 1860s. I'll link her video about that project she has down below, but I would hope to finish this one and discuss it as part of that challenge and just discuss it and the series in general with you guys. Next on this list is Jill by Amy Dillwyn, and I selected this specifically for Katie's challenge, which is to read a piece of Victorian New Woman fiction. But Roz has assured me that this book actually meets all of the Victober challenges. That is, if you haven't read Amy Dillwyn before, which I have not. So this is really exciting and something to note, I suppose. Jill is about an unconventional heroine. She's a gentlewoman who disguises herself as a lady's maid and runs away to London in search of adventure. I think that sounds like a fantastic premise for a book, and I'm really excited to get around to this one. I don't have a physical copy, but I am sure I can find an e-version somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's on Project Gutenberg, and if I don't get along with reading it there, I might get a free 30-day trial of Scribd, because I know it's there. Next up is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. This has been featured on previous Victober TBRs, but I really, really do want to get around to it this year. And I have extra motivation because Katie from Books and Things is hosting a read-along with this in conjunction with her Mega Dickens read-along. They are reading it from October through November, so I can start this the second half of Victober and continue it along in November, which I'm really excited for. And of course, David Copperfield meets two challenges. It meets Kate's challenge, which is to read a Victorian work featuring a stranger or outsider, and it meets Petra's challenge, which is to read a Victorian first-person narrative. So those are some of my priorities. However, there are many more books that I would love to pick up this Victober. For my challenge, I have five or six books on my shelves that I might just make a whole video about because I think there are some lesser known works and I'd love to hear if you've read them and to hear your feedback on them or possibly introduce you to them if you're looking for some more obscure Victorian literature. For Petra's Challenge, I'd also love to read a first-person narrative that's more of a memoir or a diary, so some possibilities for that are 
Anne Lister's diaries. She's such an interesting figure. She was so fiercely independent, she owned land, she was a traveler, she was a lesbian, she kept extensive diaries, and they were all in code made up of Greek letters and other symbols. So I think it would just be a really cool experience to read her diaries. I'd also be interested in reading The Wonderful Adventures of Mrs. Seacole in Many Lands, which is the autobiography of a Jamaican nurse who was actually just as famous as Florence Nightingale during the Crimean War. She arrived in London and she was met with a lot of racism and refusal of treatment, so she set out independently to Crimea where she was a doctor, mother, nurse to wounded soldiers, and she also ran an entire business. She sounds really interesting, and I'd love to hear about her life in her own words. Another book that interests me is one that Katie from Books and Things mentioned in her announcement video. It's Romance of a Shop by Amy Levy. Katie mentioned this one for her challenge as part of her recommendations video and she's told me great things about it over the years. It's about four young ladies who after their father passes away they go ahead and open a photography studio in London and I'm just really interested in seeing what this one has to say not just about the new woman, but also about photography as an emerging art form in the Victorian era. So there you have it. That was my rather ambitious Victober TBR. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have you read any of these books before? And if so, what did you think of them? Which ones would you personally prioritize for me? And also, are you interested in seeing a video about some of the more obscure Victorian works on my shelves that I haven't gotten around to yet? If so, do let me know. Also, let me know, what are you reading this Victober? I am so excited for Victober this year, you guys, and I can't wait to engage with you on all of the different platforms. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you in a bookish video very soon. Bye!